So um, this is, session is from tributaries to the mainstream, just so you all know you're at the right one. Um, as you know, with the rise of technology and the rise of the god Google, people have been known to question whether libraries should continue to exist. These people are obviously all terribly mistaken, as we know. <laughs> But an ability to market and promote our services is becoming a core survival skill. So in this context, it's my great pleasure to introduce Joshua Clark, who is the outreach librarian for UCD Library. Um, to my knowledge, his position is quite unique. That's why we all do bits and pieces. He is the only person who does it full time. So Joshua is generous enough to share his experience with us. So over to you. Thanks. Well, I can see there's a few people here and even somebody I work with very closely. So um, <laughs> what I want to talk about today is, yes, this dedicated role of outreach, uh, communications and outreach as it's formally called, uh, which is part of a larger unit at UCD Library. And what I'm going to do is just talk about some of the day-to-day -day things I do, some of the strategic things we'd like to do and that we are doing, and then maybe some things about what I like about the job, what I don't like about the job, and a little bit about the future and what we'd like to see happen. So let me see if this works. Hope I won't be singing Roxanne soon enough. But, um, okay, so tributes, I, I titled this Tributaries to the Mainstream because you, as you know, an analogy or of rivers flowing down to the sea to a delta and coming together. Well, before this outreach role, UCD Library was kind of doing all kinds of different things when it came to the communications uh, part of uh, the remit. So uh, different units, different departments were doing their own thing basically when it came to signage, uh, putting out newsletters, putting out publications about services, things like that. So, um, so in the strategic plan, the last strategic plan, it was, it was decided that we had to do something about this and there had to be a dedicated communications role. So first of all, what is outreach? Uh, as librarians, we all do it, really. I mean, uh, from the frontline staff who deal with uh, students and staff all day, um, to research people who are liaison librarians that might deal with staff members or researchers, everybody does some kind of outreach, basically meaning that they're the face of the library and they're communicating the library's services and its value to them. So that's what we kind of mean by outreach and um, so in a, in a way this is kind of something that everyone does and I was talking to somebody at Trinity recently uh, Greg Sheaf and he was talking about the outreach role was kind of interested in it and he, he kind of he thought well I think I'm kind of doing that already but it's not called outreach so um, there might be some of you out there that feel that will feel like uh, you're doing what I'm doing in, in, a, in some ways so birth because not a death slide so don't worry um, the birth of Outreach at UCD basically came around um, through the, the strategic plan for uh, 2010 to 2014, five-year strategic plan. And around 2009 or so, when things were being formulated um, in the uh, strategic plan, in the, in the drafting, um, we came up with a library vision which had a number of points. And one here collaborates with other information-centered UCD services to expand awareness of and access to data and other similar uh, things that we do. Um, so it was written into the strategic plan that we needed to address this, this issue of outreach. Um, also in the action plan, uh, I think it was objective five, um, we also had to, we said that we wanted to develop and implement a library communications policy so actually, policy, so actually formalize this. And in the end, it was, it was noted that there was going to have to be somebody who was going to be in charge of outreach and communications. So your A team was formed uh, in about 2011, 2012. I started my job in, I think, June of 2012, possibly July. And uh, it is a very small department within a larger unit called the Planning and Administration Unit. There are five units in UCD Library. Um, so as it stands now, uh, it's me, my wonderful manager, boss, Roz Pan, who's in the audience today, and uh, on again, off again, Melanie Simpson, who is our graphics whiz, graphics designer and multimedia uh, whiz kid, basically. And I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, in the corner there, if you could see her, Anna Shazani, who used to be our graphics designer, but she moved on a couple years ago. 
So this is basically the team. So when you start to hear about the things we do, when you have two people, because Melanie only just arrived back and we're not sure we're gonna be able to keep her, it's only two of us really doing all these jobs for all these different units within the library and um, you know, putting out communications, putting out newsletters, making sure there's uh, information in the, in the campus, uh, in the UCD official uh, magazine, things like that. Plus doing all the website work and all this. So there's a lot to do for two people and sometimes you feel like you're uh, a, bit, a bit run off your feet uh, <laughs> fighting the fires that we do every day. So um, there, there's strategy and then there's the day to day. And a lot of times uh, we feel that strategy kind of gets under the, goes under the bus because um, there is a lot of things that we need to do that, that are time sensitive, that we have to get out. So a lot of times I feel like these guys, I'm always fighting some fires. And I'm <laughs> but, I, but I enjoy some of that firefighting, so I'll, I'll let you know about that. Um, so like, for instance, one of the things I do, which I was doing before this position, actually, with, uh, with my colleague, Michael Laddish, who actually took it over for a while, we, we, took care, we take care of the, the website. That includes our, our, our desktop website as well as our mobile site. So um, we use a, a, a content management system called T4. And uh, it, it is, it's a big job because there's a lot of editing to do. Um, we've recent, we, um, we recently went through a homepage revamp. And before that, uh, we had a, over, a, a massive overhaul of the whole library website. So um, Roz was the head of that, that uh, particular project. But um, so web editing comes into, a, a, into the fore of it in a lot of ways. And that's what I do a lot of is, is do the website and, and um, edit it. The thing is, there's a bottleneck because um, a lot of people aren't, don't have access to the website, so I'm the one who has to go in and edit things. I have to make sure that the, the home page is refreshed with current, uh, you know, you can see a graphic in the middle of the page there. That all has to be done, and sometimes you have to get it out or you're seen as being, you know, you missed the boat on something. So that's a big part. Uh, this is the content management system we use called T4. <coughs> um, and LibGuides. LibGuides is another thing. Um, the outreach uh, unit um, heads up the LibGuides uh, group, basically. So there was a pilot project with LibGuides. We did that um, uh, a couple of years ago with version one of LibGuides, and Roz headed up that. So the thing about LibGuides is it's taking away from the website as well. So the website content is dwindling while more guides and lip, more of the content that used to be on the website is being reformulated into LibGuides. So the website's getting smaller and smaller, but LibGuides are becoming more and more important. Uh, many of the different units within the library are using them now for their guides. We used to have huge sections on the website for uh, research services and client services, the liaison librarians, and all these guides are going into LibGuides. So that's a big part of our job as well, maintaining those, training people up in how to use it, um, and so overseeing that whole thing. Um, social media, that's probably the first thing I do when I come in in the morning is go and check Twitter, Facebook. We have the three, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram is, is kind of, a, it's there, it's, it's kind of chugging along, but I don't really pay attention to it as much as I probably should, it, should because the, the campus really is. But, um, so there, there's always something you can improve on, but when you're being pulled different directions, it's hard to keep up with certain things. Um, Twitter's a big thing, that's where we find we get the most impact. Uh, is through Twitter. Um, more feedback from students that way on practical matters such as it's cold in the library, which we get that a million times during the winter and sometimes in the summer, um, to complaints about the, the catalog of the discovery service. Um, so we get all kinds of complaints. So I compile a listing of all of those uh, comments we get through Twitter. So it's an interesting forum for students and staff. Um, Facebook as well, we don't use Facebook. We, we do use Facebook because it's pretty much you have to do it, but we find we don't get as much um, impact from, from Facebook. So we, uh, we monitor it and we put things into Facebook, but it's not as immediate as Twitter. Anyway, so that's social media. Um, um, another big element of what I do now, uh, well, Melanie just came back, our graphic designer. She was away for a while. Um, 
but she was the Adobe whiz kid basically doing everything in Illustrator, Photoshop. So we've kind of upped our game in that area for signage, posters, promotions, newsletters, using InDesign for newsletters and publications. So um, I've kind of had to skill up myself in that because we're not sure if we're going to get another graphic designer. So I've had to take a course on that. And this is one part of the job I really enjoy is actually doing design work and working in, in Photoshop and, and that kind of thing. Um, we produce lots of posters. We have a remit to um, promote different um, aspects of the collection or services every month. We have a monthly promotion. So those, those require a poster. They require uh, online promotions. Um, we have a, a library spotlight that we spotlight a certain aspect of a collection. We'll put books out in a prominent place. And so that has to be promoted with yet more posters. So you can see when it's only two of us and Roz is the, is the manager and she should be doing more high level strategic work, she's actually sitting there on Illustrator uh, making up a poster. So you can see what the situation is when it comes to staffing. Um, like, for instance, when I was talking about online promotions, uh, you have to come up with a concept basically first. Uh, and then you have to go and, and create, the, create the actual concept, design it up. But you have to design it for different elements. You have, we have plasma screens, so that's, that's certain uh, resolution. You have to put it on Twitter and Facebook. That's another thing. Then we have the library homepage, the piece you saw before. And so every, that takes time, and, and that's why it's good to have a graphic designer, somebody could be dedicated to that. So I'm, I'm supposed to be doing other things, but a lot of times I'm doing these kind of things, so, which I enjoy, but it's, it's, it's not really, it's, it's part of the remit, but it's not like a prominent part. So the posters and promotions, like I talked about, we, we come up with these uh, in just, for, an inst for instance, uh, different posters for, um, we might highlight our, our new resource discovery service, uh, research services, the research services area is always um, looking for some kind of promotion uh, for their services to try to get out there and latch on to, to the research community. So we're doing things for them, uh, 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 seasonal kind of things, like the, when exams period comes up, helpful tips for students. Um, uh, library orientation as well, uh, around September and January, that's a big part of what we, we're involved in. Um, we're not actually heading that up, but we, but we are very involved in the promotion and the um, designing and all of that, the, the competitions, everything that goes along with uh, bringing, uh, the, when um, the new students come in. So you can see it's a big, it's a big, big part of the work. That's where that's just a sampling of some of the, some of the posters we've come up with over the last couple of years um, through different designers. First Anna and then Melanie. So you can see the range and and the kind of the creativity that's going on when when uh, somebody comes up with a concept and then somebody has to go and start to figure out the graphics and design it up and then we have to come up with taglines and then w of course we have input from the other units as well so we're constantly working with the other units um, there's five major units in the in the library and uh, we work with every one of them with promoting the, their their certain aspect of services um, so a lot of these posters would come out of uh, maybe client services need something for the new room booking the room online booking system so we have to come up with a whole promotion of that um, uh, feedback as well, uh, so and statistics. Another thing uh, that we we want we would like to do more of is to measure the impact of what an outreach unit does to see what what is actually happening. If if students are getting the message, or if we need to do better. So uh, I could say that we're probably sorely lacking in that area and actually getting the feedback. We would like to run more feedback exercises, more to targeted groups such as mature students, international students. Um, uh, students with disabilities, that kind of thing, which we just haven't gotten around to in great detail yet. Um, we help out with um, LibQual as well, the, the uh, biannually, biannual LibQual that we do. Um, so we um, were int integral in the promotion of that as well as the um, <coughs> As well as when the statistics come in, uh, we, we ran it recently, but we haven't really gathered the statistics as well as we should, or at least sifted through them and analyzed them. So I was interested in Peter's talk there earlier. Um, there's things like when a student comments, say, on, in LibQual, when they say, oh, I wish you had this service, but we actually do. So they don't know about it, so there's a promotion problem. <laughs> so those are the kind of things that we're looking at. Um, we also have something called a we, you said, we did kind of thing, where you said it was uh, we needed more space for, for comfortable study, 
we did, we got a library hub in the James Joyce Library with lots of comfortable seating, th those kind of things. So, um, so you can see there's a great range of, of what we have to do, and that's just the surface, really. Internal as well as external communications is another big part of the job. Uh, our part of our remit is to keep the staff informed, the library staff, so we have a weekly update, a weekly staff update that we come out with every Monday, which kind of uh, units can submit to that and we put it out. Um, also, the staff library, library staff intranet, which we used to have on our website, password protected, but now it's, it's a libguide which is password protected, so you can see libguides kind of taking over, creeping in more and more into the website territory. Um, and we also, uh, up until this past year, we, we um, planned and hosted two library staff days. So in early January, all library staff would get together and it would be a chance for units to highlight different things that they're doing that other units might not know about, a chance for people to create posters about what they're doing. So it's kind of like this, where you have posters and presentations. And uh, we, I think we're handing that over to, uh, to uh, collections soon. <laughs> it's a big job, though. User feedback, like I said, sometimes we run specific uh, feedback um, sessions just for a specific thing like library spaces. What would you like to see with our library spaces, the physical space? Um, but like I said before, this is one part that I think we're falling down in is getting qual quality user feedback on, d on different aspects of what we do and what we try to promote. Road shows as well. We used to have a lot more road shows than we do now. That's another thing. We'd like to go out into the different uh, buildings, the different places where students are and promote different services that we have, new services, ask them what they think about certain other services. And so um, we haven't been doing that recently and it's a staffing issue as well. It's hard to get people to, to get involved in, in doing some of these things. It requires a lot of commitment to give, to give time when you have other things going on as well. So that's something that we, we, we have in our plan but it's, it's another part that's, um, that's uh, kind of uh, falling down a bit. The future, um, basically, uh, we would like to see, like I said, more, more feedback, more feedback sessions, um, getting more of a, an idea of the impact that we're making in social media, for example, um, like how, 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 much, how much are people seeing our, our promotions, uh, what do they think about the library, what, what have, uh, like research uh, services is very active and they've done a great job in promoting their services and, and getting the word out about what they can do for, for different, from different areas, but um, we need to work more in um, actually targeting certain groups, like I said before, in getting their, their um, opinions back and what we need to work on. Um, another big thing is cultural heritage is, is now a big, uh, is, is in the spotlight in our library. And uh, we work uh, closely with the digital library team, the UCD digital library team, to promote their, to pro promote new collections that come in um, into the, the digital library. Recently, there was Father Francis Gleason promotion. Um, so we do a lot of work with that as far as sending out emails, creating email templates and things like that. And one of the things that is on the wish list is to get one of these nice big multi-surface, multi-touch surface uh, tables or, or wall displays, if the money was ever there, to um, give a more interactive experience to people. Um, so um, that is uh, pretty much what I wanted to say for now, and I think I'm running under time here, so maybe I should hem and haw a bit more. Um, <laughs> Like I said, the, big, the part of the job I really like is, um, is the design, the website work. I love working with that, air, that kind of uh, thing. Um, some of the things I don't like as much is, the, is working with doing physical signage, wayfinding and all that. That's, to me, that's a bit boring, but you know, it has to be done. Um, so <laughs> those are kind of two of the things that I, I, would, I would highlight as, as some of the things I enjoy and, and not so much. Um, and... Uh, Oh, well back to the website, just real briefly. Um, we're, we're very much uh, interested in, in getting a responsive web uh, design in the near future. The UCD president has uh, indicated that it, it be, it's imperative that the whole campus, the, the online presence of the campus goes, um, goes uh, responsive. So uh, that's something that'll come up and uh, we'll be working on that as well, hopefully. So um, I probably forgot a million things that I was gonna say, but uh, I think that's all I wanna say for now. Thank you.